So altogether, this, this is considered one piece, and it's called Heroes on the Horizon. The space that we used uh, here is the new galley building that serves as an incubator for startup restaurants. So these panels here were intentionally created uh, for art space, uh, like the incubator inside will create some temporary public art. Not just about bricks and mortars, but it's also about color design. So we've always talked about getting artists to do different pieces within the community. So we have a responsibility, I think, to involve the community in some way because they have to live with it. They have to see it every day. So we decided upon doing an open call for artists. We received over 85 applications from around the country, 60 of which were here locally. Well, Janelle, she was a standout from the beginning. She just checked all the boxes. There was a heavy emphasis on the community engagement piece, and I consider myself a community artist. So I really thought it was a great opportunity to kind of bridge the gap between the history of Larmer and what is now coming forth for the future of Bakery Square, um, especially through black and brown students who were at the two schools in the residency. I love working with youth, um, and children, showing them that art is a viable path. The kids in the residency program helped me conceptualize. Um, I did not have a preconceived notion of what I wanted this project to be as far as the visual elements before I worked with these students. I asked the second graders a place they feel safe, a place they have fun, and three things or people they love in their community. They told me things like their family and their school, their classroom, their teachers, parks, being outside, plants, a lot of really amazing things. The older kids, if you were a superhero, what superpowers would you have to protect your community and the things in it? They said things like art and music and singing. They also said really profound things like ending racism, helping other people who are less fortunate, helping the homeless. So. I wanted the cape to show the superpowers of this community hero who is meant to be anonymous and looking at the horizon. The way that Janelle was able to incorporate those workshops into the inspiration behind the mural and then have the kids out here at the unveiling to sort of see the product of their work uh, was priceless. This was a great opportunity for our elementary students to be able to participate in a major project like this. Who ever thought that our kids would produce a sign that says art, music, ending racism, and helping others. That, that's a strong statement, and those came from children. You know, that's a community that typically doesn't go to community meetings. They don't, <laughs> they don't go to city council. They don't, they don't have a voice lots of times. So for uh, the residency to tap into that particular community, I think was extra special and makes the artwork extra meaningful. You gotta learn by the kids and hear what they have to say and follow their lead. I mean, honestly, these kids are living in a different time um, as far as like COVID is concerned. Um, the fourth and fifth graders were virtual. Uh, we did our workshops via Teams online. For the online kids, what we ended up doing was creating either via drawing or collaging digitally their, their forms of their superhero. So I thought it was really cool that you know, they're advanced enough and creative enough to use technology to create this artwork. The left panel, which reads One Community, is something that was inspired by what the Larmer Consensus Group came to me with. You know, Larmer and Bakery Square are not two different Larmers. It is one community. And that's what, you know, Walnut Capital is trying to convey by being a community partner um, through this public art project. But also the word unity within community is elevated just slightly more and it's also lit with LED lights in the back. One of the things is to get people of my color to come over here and see what you have right here. The opportunity to show what their children did in the schools that are in our community. But to have them actually be able to sort of inspire some of the words and imagery in the finished artwork was just priceless. Being here now 
makes it more of a full circle moment, honestly. I didn't expect to be at Rise and Sign my senior year of high school, and I certainly didn't expect to be in Bakery Square now. We just could not have done any better with her, and you don't get that every day.